have reached our next destination, which is Guardia Castle. You can land the Epoch just outside if you so desire. Now, everybody here, um, we've been expecting you to the King's Chamber, please. What a stroke of luck for you guys. Defeated Luke, huh? They suddenly start calling me just Luke like they've always done it, and I didn't name him that. Which I guess is cool, but at the same time, no. You guys still call him Magus. Luke is my nickname for him. Nonsense, you saved the day. I just cooked up whipping up a victory meal, something real fancy. We destroyed Luke's troops and we owe it all to Bash. Novin, you're magnificent. I knew you'd do it, brothers. I was thinking about making you knight captain. I'm afraid tis not for me. Sure it is. Bash my thanks extend for generations to come. Bash isn't here. Novin, so you've teamed up with Vash and the others. You've done a fine job. Please remain with us as long as you wish. My heart is glad. Thank you, my liege. You're alive. Although we did sustain major casualties, we wouldn't have made it without you. Anyway, we all must work together to rebuild the kingdom of Guardia. We're all in this together. Novin, thanks again. You deserve the title Knight. Waste not such precious words on me. And nobody brought up the fact that Luke is here with us, so I'm going to do what I can to see if I can change that. Let's put Luke at the front of the party so that he starts talking to these people, see what they have to say about it then. Because nobody seemed to bring up that he was even here. What's up? We just heard, yes. They still talk to Melvin. Are you kidding me? They still won't say anything! Like, even when Luke talks to him personally. That's ridiculous. I'm just gonna keep Luke in the lead for now, then. Seriously, though. How... Is it one more up? How did they not seem to care? Okay, so we're gonna do pretty much the same thing that we did before here. Something inside is reacting to the bandit. Take out what's inside. No! And then we are gonna leave, go back to... Uh, 1080, pick it up, and then head back here and take it now longer that, now that we no longer need it to stay there. So let me just uh, let me just meet you in that room in 1080. AD. Well, I was going to, but they've stopped me at the door at 1000 AD. To terrorists! This is not good! What? 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 Terrorists? And we've been chased out of there. That's no good. It's no good. For this part, you are going to need to bring Lamia with you, so I did bring her back into the party just for this small little bit right here. She's going to be very helpful. Princess Nadia. I've been worried, Princess. I understand your pain, but the king really only cares about his realm. Yes, even when your mother, Queen Eliza, passed away, he worked all day. No one could do that. It's inhuman. Oh, child. It's ancient history now. Tell me more. This may be difficult. Well, Queen Eliza's condition suddenly changed for the worst. She desperately wanted to see the king one last time, but he couldn't find the time to drop by. What? Said he had some work to do. And knowing nothing about death, you waited faithfully by your mother's side. Eliza passed away in sorrow. It's as if the king indirectly killed her. Such a shame. What? Father killed my mother? That's not exactly what he's saying. But what do I know? There are reasons for everything, right, dear? Now, so glad to see you back again. Please go and visit the king. And it's time to go move on. Do you have anything? Only the Chancellor thought Bash was guilty, yes, of course. Uh, yeah, well, she's back now. Uh, <sighs> the King has, for the time being, ordered probation for Bash. Right. They, okay, seriously, you won't even let me in the castle unless I have Lamia with us. But then you act like she's not here with us. What the hell, game? What are you talking about? Come, Princess Nadia. You got anything to say? Uh, yes, of course you do. Princess Nadia is a dead ringer for her mother? That's why the king's so strict with her? What? That doesn't make any sense. What's up, Kinge? Oh, Nadia. What, what do you want? I'm not giving in to your demands. 
Mm. It's your fault for leaving the castle and letting these hoodlums in here. You might as well beg for bread on the street corner. Stop it, they're my friends! They're a disgrace to this family. Father, you... you... You care more about your country than me, your mother! What? Y you killed mother! Her. Get out of here this instant! I never want to see your face again! Good riddance! Seriously? We're no longer family. Do as you wish. What? Did, did we just get Lamia disowned? Hmm. Was that a, was that a tear? Oh, what was me? The Chancellor has feelings! What do you know? Uh, yeah, so... Sweet. So much for, for your inheritance, Lamia. I kind of screwed that up for you, didn't I? Let's get an elixir out of that chest. It's there. And then uh, we can grab what's in here. We can get the red vest powered up. That turns into the red mail. But we need to keep going up here. This is the first time we've been allowed up here. Are there any treasure chests in here? What's up? The king is deeply concerned about Princess Nadia. Not really, apparently. But being a king, he keeps it all locked up inside. Not his door, though. After his wife's death, he only lived for Princess Nadia, of course, yes. And here we get a full ether. Nice. And then this, yeah, this still looks like a treasure chest hidden in the back there. I've got nothing to say. Well, good for you. Good for you. So it's time to get head out of here then. I'll meet you back in, uh... Actually, no, there is one more place that I need to go. Because this is the first time that we've actually had a chance to explore this castle. So, let's head over to the one place that we haven't been in this castle yet, the one in the 1080. Let us head over nya. What's up, dude? The court is adjourned. Mr. Pierre awaits downstairs. Mr. Pierre. Pierre who? What the hell? Nalar Pierre. The king has been so gloomy since prison. Listening to my story, he has concluded that it was not a kidnapping. It's taken time, but I think he understands. Still, the Chancellor is acting weird. He may give us some trouble. Those jail guardians were an odd bunch. We got cold stares from them. It's like they weren't even human. They weren't. I had to kill them. Well, not, not these people here, but the Dash had to kill them. The Chancellor lost it, lost it right around the time he ordered that dragon tank to be built. What? Chancellor hired all those soldiers that work in the jail. What is with the Chancellor? Did the Chancellor really give it to the King in court? Eh, whatever. So we need to head up then, since apparently there's nothing important down there. Have we ever been up here? I don't think we have. Oh, there's nothing there. There is an open treasure chest there. Is this back to the King's room? Oh, no, this is, this is the way that we came. So then, alright, hold on. There is actually one more spot in this castle that we haven't explored yet. I thought we were done, but we actually have not gone over to the right side, over to, well, Princess Nadia Limia's room. Over on this side. I thought we, I thought we had covered that once or, or twice, but we hadn't. Uh, just the open one on this one, and over here we find a hyper ether. So, yeah, this is our first time really exploring this castle at all in 1080. That's the problem with time travel. I think I've been places, but I haven't. Who are you people? I'm in charge of the princess's education. I'm in charge of her physical, physical education? So you're the creepy dude. What's up? I'm in, I'm in charge of discipline, and she's missed almost every lesson this year. You are the worst of all her teachers. Really? You're teaching Lamy at discipline? She knows nothing of discipline. And in here we get a Mega Elixir, uh, which I will probably call Mega Elixir. Skip that E entirely throughout this entire game because, well, I'm a Final Fantasy guy. I played that one first, so I know them as Mega Elixirs, not Mega Elixirs. But we are actually now done here in Guardia Castle in 1080, so I need to go back to 600 AD and get that chest again.
And in this chest, is it really going to be any surprise? Yes, I'm going to take out what's inside, because I already got the upgrade. We get the red vest, and the red vest and red mail just works like everything else, except it absorbs fire damage. Now, I will meet you in the next destination. Oh yeah, there's actually a, a major side quest that we can do at this point, but I'm going to not do it now. Um, just let's just say it was I was thinking about doing a certain ghosts side quest for those of you that know. Uh, but I'm I'm going to postpone that for a bit, and I'm actually going to continue the main quest. Actually, do what we're supposed to be doing. So let us head into Keeper's Dome here in 2300 AD. Well done, we spot with. A keeper's dome. There's no other keeper's dome anywhere else. Can I do this? This do anything for me? I have to press L, L and R, and then press the button. What does this do? It turns my screen black. Oh, I can still rename the epoch. Okay, that's good to know. If you guys have a suggestion, feel free to throw it out there. I, I haven't thought of anything. I really. What do you name a time machine? I really don't know. So, at least I know I can change that from now on if I so desire. How do I get over there again? Isn't it this way? Like, I don't even need to go up and around? Yeah, so then can I do, like, this? No, that's not doing anything for me. So then I guess we just keep going through here. Only way to go. The pendant shimmers, yes. Open the door. Open the Star Trek door for me. Doesn't make the right sound, but still, Star Trek door. Let's go through here. And, ooh, shiny. Let's get the magic tab. And then we can see Balthazar. How you doing, dude? On Death Peak, you will find the power to restore life, but to activate this power, the deceased must be important to the space-time continuum, and you must have a clone identical to that person. Only then can a Chrono Trigger work its magic. A clone the magician Norse, Norstein Beckler could whip one up in a wink of an eye. Beckler loves festivals. Find a festival in there too. You shall find Beckler. So we went all this way to, to have Balthazar tell us that we need to go somewhere else. Such, such is Chrono Trigger. But we are headed back. Can, can you guys guess where it's going to be? I'll give you a hint. It's not in 2300 AD, which is depressing as all hell. Uh, it's back in 1000 AD, as you might expect. I'll meet you there. <laughs>